Hi and welcome to a new video. I'm back in the mountains and the goal of this trip is to photograph the full moon or even better to photograph any wildlife in front of the full moon. So I'm working on this idea since a long time and I already got some good images but not really the perfect one. And as you can see this time the conditions are a little bit challenging. <laughs> uh, so in the best case it's gonna clear up and I have a sight for the full moon. Uh, otherwise, in the worst case, this video will not even be uploaded because I will just sit in the mist for this night. Uh, so yeah, that's the excitement of nature photography and I'll just take you a little bit with me and I really hope that yeah, I will see a little bit more than this uh, today in the evening or at least tomorrow in the morning. I just came across these beautiful flowers here. So this is Wolf Spain. And as you can see, it's all over here and it looks very nice now with the mist. So I think this is a first place to take some images, uh, even though there is no wildlife around or I mean, <laughs> there could be, but I, I can't really see far, uh, but it would look very nice to have some wildlife in here. Uh, for example, an alpine ibex. But I think it's already nice to take some images without wildlife. And what is interesting, this is a very poisonous plant. So. If you find it, you should not try to touch it because this can already be poisonous. Um, but I will try to take some images here. So this is what I brought today. Uh, the Sony Alpha 1, my main camera here with the 70-200. to Then I brought one FX3 with the 16-35mm uh, to and of course the 400mm. And now to photograph these uh, flowers, I think I will start with the 70 to 200 and just try to get some detail shots, which could look very nice with this beautiful blue against uh, the bright background. So let's give it a try. Okay, I just found a group of male ibex and right now I'm trying to get some of the flowers in the foreground of this ibex here and this just looks very nice in these very misty conditions. Uh, so yeah, I will try to get some good results. It's now getting dark and I'm still in the mist right now, but uh, I just witnessed a fantastic sunset. So for just maybe three minutes, the sun came through the mist and just created a beautiful scenery. Right at this moment, I had alpine ibex in front of the sunset. Now I'm trying to find a place to sleep. I will go a little bit down and set up my bivouac. Then we will see us again for tomorrow's sunrise. And oh, now you can see, maybe you can see it. Here and then uh, the mist is opening a little bit and you can see some mountains. These are the best moments when you have uh, these changing situations. So I'm very optimistic for tomorrow morning. Uh, so if I get very lucky, I might be even above the uh, clouds tomorrow. Let's see us tomorrow morning and enjoy some of the best images from right now at the sunset.
Later in the evening, it cleared up and I had a great but short night under the full moon. Being above the clouds, everything looked perfect for the next morning. Good morning. It's a little bit windy. I hope you can understand me. It's now 6 a.m. and I'm hiking back to the top of the mountain. Whew. And I should focus on walking instead of recording because, yeah, it's really nice. The moon is starting to set and the sun is starting to rise at the same time. So I really hope that I will find some Ibex now. So wish me good luck. Holy crap. Maybe you can see it. It's, ah, oh, shit. There was an Ibex. Holy crap, an Ibex at this place. I can't believe it. That's the shot of the day or maybe of the month. Holy crap. Focus, where are you? Oh, I'm happy. I'm so happy with this one. Oh, let me show you the result. That's crazy. <laughs> the sun is already here and I think most of the action is over now. What a beautiful morning. I love it when plans work out. So I had no time to film any behind the scenes because everything happened at the same time. So over there, the moon was setting and over here, the sun was rising and a few ibex were around. And I think I got some good images. So enjoy some of my favorite images from this absolutely stunning morning.